Hi, Scorpio. All right, let's see what is going on for you. Ask for messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Scorpio. Expansion. Strength. Playfulness. Prosperity. And manifesting dreams. You have passage under the deck. Generosity. Okay. All right, something is changing and growing for you with expansion. I think you've been through a very tough cycle. You could be coming to the end of one. You've been strong. You're being told not to have more fun. Your money could be... What is this expansion? Let's just go to expansion first. The sun. Yeah, things are growing. Things are getting better. Strength for Scorpio. Could be a fire sign who's been wondering about you. Hmm. Playfulness. Teasing. Playfulness. Seven of Swords. Offering. Manifesting. So maybe moving. Okay. Ten of Wands. So for some of you, this is a little specific, but what you're manifesting may be different. But something about, something's changing here. That you could have someone who's been wondering about you. They could be a Leo specifically. They want to be playful with the Seven of Swords. They have you on their mind. They may be hiding this. They want to offer you something. It could be like to move in together, possibly the Ten of Wands and the Lovers. So I think there's somebody who has you, you on their mind more than you realize. They may want to take the relationship to the next step. Yeah, look at someone's manifesting you as they flip the deck. Show me the Seven of Cups. Show me the Seven of Cups. Oh, the King of Swords. That's I'm kind of getting. Like I don't think you realize what this person is thinking and feeling about you. I think they hold their cards close to their chest. Again, this could be surprising. This could be something, again, that's going to be happening in the summertime with the summer card and the sun. So somewhere around maybe June. What is the Seven of Swords? Four of Swords. They think about you a lot. They may have good memories of the two of you. What is the Four of Cups? Three of Coins, getting along. Five of Wands. Let's see one more. Two of Swords and a Fool. Wanting to start over. Death. So maybe I've gotten out of a relationship possibly. They know this. Um, others of you, there's some sort of ending here that you maybe you went through or something. Now it's time for this new beginning. There could have been an argument that they want to like resolve. Some of you may play sports or know this person through some sort of like athletic activity. Five of Wands also. Okay, Ten of Wands and the Lovers. Some of you may have, I don't know, money issues. Those are going to be going away if you have money issues. Your money's going to get better. There's something about like maybe there was a reason for that to lead you down a different path. All right, what is the Lovers and the Ten of Wands? Three of Cups. Celebrating messages. Justice. Yeah, there's a person who you do know who could be a fire sign or earth sign. Honestly, it could be any sign. Who there was some sort of banter or being, you know, something is here between the two of you. They've been wondering about you, thinking about you. It may have ended abruptly. It may have ended uh, with a fight or maybe not at all. Maybe just you guys have not been in communication. There's a lot of like, with the full of three cups, almost looks like kind of like a birthday celebration possibly for a few of you. Wouldn't be your birthday probably, but it looks like a party almost there. But anyways, this person is going to be communicating with you. I think you're going to be happy from the way the cards look. This person really likes you. They admire you. They could be a Libra. But I would expect communication. Hmm. All right. Let's go to a different deck and see what else is going on for you. What is going on for Scorpio? What does somebody want to say to Scorpio? Okay, I've been watching your socials and admiring your pictures. I fantasize about you. Yeah, that's that, I think, the Four of Swords, the Seven of Swords. They will never compare to you. I want a future with you. I wish you were here with me and one more. Okay, one more. I need to work on myself. I'm trying to clear my head. Okay. Under the deck it says I underestimated how important you are in my life. I know that one just came out in Libras. Okay. I don't think I've ever seen that. I need to work on myself. I need to 
I'm trying to clear my head. I don't think I've ever seen that one. That's that King of Swords energy. All right, what's going on for Scorpio and this person? Who is this person? Herathont. Death card. I'm going to put that up there. Scorpio. I guess some of you may be trying to like clear your head, get things straight. Maybe you've been overwhelmed. Maybe you've been forgetting things is also what I'm getting. Someone has ended something, though. Now they're ready to manifest you. Got the lovers here. Those two want to come out, so we're going to take them. What is the outcome for Scorpio? That may be the outcome. Let me see. High Priestess. Okay. Yeah, something big is coming in here. You got the Seven of Cups under here, the Ace of Cups, and the Justice card with messages. I feel like, you know, I kind of feel like maybe someone, I don't want to say did you wrong, but there was something like it just didn't end the right way, and you kind of felt slighted, like it, that shouldn't have happened that way. Like, you know, why did they do that? I'm also getting, maybe this person was in another relationship at the time, whether you knew that or not, but that looks like it's over. I think that's what we saw under the deck with the death card. Something had to be cleared out in order for this to work. So it could have been like the right person, wrong time. But there is a relationship here where I see commitment, and I feel like it's solid, solid commitment. We have Taurus, Gemini, and could be another Scorpio, but... Pisces, Aquarius is here, Libra, Libra is also here, but I just like this is a good match for you, it possibly could be someone you met online, Seven of Cups can show me that, but show me what's going on for Scorpio and this person, Queen of Wands, some of you are Sagittarius, Cuspers, I have my eye, hang on, okay, Six of Cups and Seven of Coins, they may have already been intimate in the past. They may have talked about poss possibly having kids with lovers in the Six of Cups together. But some of you, I don't know, feels kind of like a church, getting married in a church. I don't know, meeting at a church, a wedding, but probably a commitment. Show me the Queen of Wands energy again. Feeling weighed down by work. Ah, some of you are feeling very overwhelmed by work, your career right now. The sun and the death card. So something is over. There's a phase that has come to an end for you, Scorpio. Receiving more money, receiving a gift, being able to maybe take time off and rest. Seven of swords. This person could give you something. They could give you like a surprise gift is kind of what I'm seeing. Somebody in your past. Communication. I feel like they're planning a surprise or planning some sort of communication for you, Scorpio. So basically what I'm seeing here is I feel like a lot of you have been focused either on your work or a hobby or commitment, something like that. Okay, school. I don't feel like this person's been on your mind lately, to be honest. I feel like um, they've been thinking a lot about you, but you really haven't been thinking about them. So maybe maybe receiving some extra money coming up here with the Six of Pentacles. Could be a bonus, a raise, a gift, something like that. I don't know if it's from this person or not. But I feel like it's enough money that maybe it gives you a little bit of rest or solitude here. Maybe some of you could be going on vacation during the summer months. Four swords. I feel like complete rest. Also, some of you, this person's been looking for you. Like, I mean, they know where you're at. But they've been wondering, like, why you're so quiet, why you're not reaching out. Something like that. They're manifesting you without, you know, you can see they're manifesting you without taking action. So thinking about you, trying to draw you in. Possibly if you're online watching you. Uh, over here, Page of Wands. I do see them possibly liking your your stories online or your pictures online or possibly leaving a comment coming up here. The Tower. Four of Wands. There's a move here. Because I'm getting this person wants you to admit possibly. Can you see those? There you go. Page of Wands. Tower. The Four of Wands. That's moving. Getting out of a connection. I think this person is... Uh, well off. I think this person also, for some of you, this will make sense, can pull strings. They can get things done for you behind the scenes that you may not be able to get done. Like If this has to do with anybody's job, they could help put in a good word for you to get you promoted or something like that. Or there may be something that you like are hoping to get a specific, you know, um, place. You want to rent someplace and they may know like the owner or something like that. 
but there is definitely something new here and it could be a commitment with this person which is probably is but it could also be a job I'm seeing some of you change jobs you could also be moving like also a tower and four of wands that's definitely a move but that would probably either be moving in with this person because they may ask or you're moving to just a nicer place I get that's newer that may be closer to a job that you're getting so I do see a lot of activity here what's the six of pentacles going back to that five of wands the five of okay this is a um, I'm sorry gift they're giving you it kind of look that way the sun and the six of coins so you may be receiving some sort of gift in the you know I was going to say mail, I think people mail things, but you know what I mean? Like receiving money, I don't know, receiving a gift. This person is trying to apologize. They want to work things out with you. I think whatever this is, it does make you happy. You may have an argument or they're apologizing for an argument. What is the page of swords over here? Two of wands and the strength card. I'm going to tell you, whoever this person is, you do like them. You're very attracted to them. Um, let me see what it is that you like about them or what they like about you. So someone likes animals, all right, something a little bit, this is a pleasant surprise. Someone who is awoke, now this again may be you, but awakened, it says, this one keeps showing up, meeting through friends, and sometimes I think it comes out and it doesn't make sense, but we're going to, you know, it came out, so it meant to. Someone who loves to go out, accomplished, it was love at first sight, okay and a major attraction they could have met you you could have met them like through friends that's how you originally met or maybe some of you walking your dog or something is also what i'm getting there was just this strong attraction maybe you guys both are like animal lovers uh, you could also have met like maybe this person is woke as well maybe some sort of spiritual group or something but okay i'm getting this person may have been with someone else at the time but i get they're out of that commitment i get this person has been fantasizing and dreaming about you scorpio for a little while now waiting for the right time to come towards you uh, i feel like uh this is something that if you decide to go into to a commitment with this person i feel like you would be happy I this person is very sexy, but they're kind of like coy. They're kind of, um, what's another word? I don't want to say mysterious, but they're definitely kind of on that, that vein of thinking. They're very, very much attracted to you. I, they could be a Pisces not feeling it, but they could be kind of woke like you. They could have a, I don't know, you could like have dreams with this person possibly, or there's something about, just very alluring, the moon and the ace of wands. And then the seven of wands here too. But I feel like this person could be romantic. And I actually feel like this person could communicate feelings to you. Like what they're thinking about you and how they feel about you. Like I don't feel like this is someone who... No, this person feels very different. They feel very like up to date with the way they dress. The way they, you know, what they um, drive. They feel like they're very open and they share. You know, they could tell you exactly how they feel about you. I don't feel like this is someone who is, you know... I don't know, beating around the bush or hiding all their feelings. I get, if anything, they actually maybe overshare and put a lot out there. So this person says they love you unconditionally. They're starting to understand this connection. And I miss seeing you. Oh. I want to tell you how I feel. I told you. They want to tell you all about how they're feeling. I get like a little bit of an oversharer. But I get a good thing because we don't need people who are always like hiding and not saying anything right I get this person is playful I do get this person again has money you could be spending more time having fun together maybe you know whatever you guys like to do but maybe doing also some traveling this summer possibly or taking a, one trip or something like that I get this person could be like an only child I get like they could they might not have family I'm not getting a lot of family around them or something but they may you know or maybe it's you but Maybe they like to be part of your family or something like that. I get like they're pretty, for the most part, easygoing. They could be somewhat impatient, though, at times is what I'm picking up. But I feel like for you, they really try to keep that under control. Did we use this stuff? No. Scorpio, tell me something else this person is feeling. 
or Scorpio. You've been working on yourself a lot, Scorpio. I'm seeing that. And some of you have been manifesting like more money and more fun. Like you want, you've been having to be really strong and muscle through a phase of your life that's been difficult. But I feel like you, you want life to be easier. You want life to be more fun. You want more money because that does make life easier and fun. And I do see that you're manifesting that is what it's saying. So you're going to be expanding into a different, um, I don't want to say dimension. How would you say a different era of your life? So I kind of see some of you like moving toward the water, the ocean, if that's been a dream of yours, living in a nicer community, um, having more fun. You could keep working, of course, whatever it is that you want to do. But what is this, what else do we need to know? There's some sort of change in perspective, better off, happiness, clear headspace. Now that's so crazy. Is, did this... I literally can't remember. Was it, it was you guys, right? This person's clearing their head. That, I've never seen that come out in, in a reading, and it's coming out in two different decks. It says, clear headspace. I'm trying to clear my head. Who is that? Is that you or them? What else? Someone may live on top of a, a I don't want to say mountain, but like a bluff. I'm getting like overlooking the ocean, overlooking something. Unfinished business. Yeah, I'm not over you. Also have pictures. So they've been looking at your pictures lately. You're going to take a chance. I love it. I like people who take chances, who, who just, you know, go for it. Why not? The worst someone can say is no, no thank you, but at least you know. Okay, unfinished business, looking at your pictures. This person has some anxiety, though. <clears throat> Excuse me. I didn't get this. It says restless. Maybe they feel restless. This could be you, but anxious because they're strongly attracted. They have this heavy heart. They've been waiting to text. They've been wanting to text, but they've been holding back and dreaming about you until the time is right and thinking about you, dreaming about you, thinking about you. And I, I get wedding rings. I do get that this person wants to marry you. There is a soul connection here. Everlasting love, devotion. I do get that with this person. I can feel it. It's a very strong, grounded energy of a person. It is not someone who is flighty or who is um, a player. This person's this person says what they mean and they mean what they say. If they're in one connection, they wrap it up, they get out of it, and they move on, and they moved on from something else. We saw the death card, the ten of pentacles, whatever they were involved with, or whoever I should say, they're done. I do get this person could ask you to get married, definitely, without a doubt. Um, some of you definitely are Libra cuspers because some of this came through, some of these cards were in Libras. I know strongly attractive was there. This could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn for some of you. I think there's a, but again, that is not really relevant. It's just the energy of the person is very like straightforward. Okay, should we pull anything else, Spirit? Let me go to this real quick. I was thinking about extending, but I'm not going to do Scorpios. Uh, your guys' is reading today. I'm going to just leave it. What was that? Paradise. So, and soulmates, I love it. What a beautiful reading you guys have. So whoever this is resonating for, congratulations. I think it's a great reading. It's a single under the deck. I do get some of you will be like going on um, honeymoon. Could be going someplace tropical. I also get this person, though, being a water sign, some of you may want to live near water. And I do see that for, for you in the future. The card says happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness. So you got playfulness in two cards also. Oneness and enjoying each other. So I'm going to leave it here, Scorpio. Have a great week, you guys.